Hello people, welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is actually exciting. When I say exciting, I actually mean exciting. Today's video is exciting. We're watching a street interview. I personally love street interviews because it gives you a raw idea of what people naturally think. Maybe why I think that I prefer that to, you know, what um, interviews that have been, that are, you know, done in studios is because um they are probably they are scripted some parts are cut out and all of those things but i love street interviews because it gives you a real a more you know natural or more real idea of what's going on in people's minds and that's what we're going to be watching today today's video is from man versus streets are women's dating standards delusional before we get into today's video what do you think about this? Let's know in the comment section. Do you think women's dating standards are delusional? I think one thing we have to realize is that women love fantasies, right? We love fantasies. We are the ones who will say, oh, I want a tall, dark, handsome, you know, chiseled body abs, you know, a man that has a good job that like things that we know that are not factual things that we know that are not real right so women are, are women are more based on fantasies compared to men men are very logical compared to women do you think that women's dating um standards are delusional well we're going to be find out finding out in today's video before we dive into that my name is Olga If this is your first time here, hello, hi, do want to click on my on the red subscribe button, like this video, drop a comment on what you think about women's dating standards on 2024, okay? And do not forget to turn on the post notification bell. Let's just dive straight into the video. We have just clinically proven which gender is more delusional using one simple test. The test asks a series of questions to see how many people in the population fit your ideal dating criteria. What's the minimum height? Five, nine. All right, I'm out. 5'10. 5'9. Okay, I'm taking L's today. Damn. <laughs> Minimum height. Six feet. Yeah, that's where they get you. 5'8. Five, 5'8? Eight. Five, eight. That's reasonable. 5'10. Six foot. 5'6. Five, like at least six. What is the ideal height that you're looking for? Over six feet, right? <laughs> no preference. I don't care. 5'3 five, to 5'9. Five, okay. Nine. Shorter than me. What's your height? 6'1. I guess taller than five feet. I'm not concerned about height. I'm under 5'10. We're we'll gonna get real ten. picky here. Yeah, so you go to four feet? Yeah, yeah, car. it's great, man. Can we go lower in four feet? <laughs> no, we go to if I meet a funny, beautiful woman who's, you know, four feet tall, go for it. Or just like a very funny, beautiful woman that's like 7'7". Seven, seven. Would you exclude obesity? Absolutely. Yeah. No. No. Nah. No, I'm inclusive. Except if you're below six feet. Correct. Exclude obese? Would you be willing to admit it on camera? <laughs> I would exclude. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. What about if they're fat? Do you care if they're fat or not? No. You don't care? Or you... I don't care. Like, I enjoy a little dad bod. Would you exclude overweight and obese? No. Yes. Would you exclude obese and overweight? I'm going on record, but yes, I would. Nah. No. What about overweight or obese? You care? Yeah, no, I definitely give a fuck about being no, overweight. Okay. I want like a hundred dollars or cheaper on the dinner bill, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> minimum income. Like, let's 60? Say 60 60,000. 70k? 30,000 dollars. I don't think that matters to me. I really don't care about income. As a student myself, like, I don't have that much money right now. I'm a broke college student, so I guess they can be broke as well. So I'm in college, I don't expect you to make a lot. Alright, he's on food stamps, so... I'm gonna say at least 200. 200 grand? Like 200. Minimum, like 30. Maximum, as much money as possible. That really doesn't Sick. matter. No preference. No minimum income. What about minimum income? Do you care how much they make? No. No. Not particularly concerned with income. All right, what do you think you scored? I don't know. This is a percentage of how many people per are... Percentage of the population in that age range fits this. It's got to be like 60. You think it's 60? I, there have to be a lot of people in that, right? I don't know. What if I told you it's actually 16%? 16? 16. 16. That's, yeah, that's very small. Whoa, 6.4%, okay. 4.1, <laughs> so it says you're an aspiring cat lady. Oh no. <laughs> I barely did any any filters though. Oh. So it says you're an aspiring cat lady. <laughs> what do you think it is? Take a guess. Like 2%. Yeah, 2.1%. Wow. So knowing that, would Whoa. you be willing to like lower your standards or what? No, I'm not lowering my standards for anybody, point blank period. Would you say that you yeah. would lower your standards now that you know it's only 60% of the population? No. no, I don't think I would. Oh. Guess what it is. 
Like 2%? Much lower. Uh, 0.5. It's 0.28%. Okay. Oh my gosh. 12% of people wow. in your age group have all those qualities. That's, That's not lot. good odds. <laughs> <laughs> 32%, oh my gosh. 23%, it means you're down to earth. So you are down to earth according to, you can see it says down to earth. So, awesome. Yeah. You can be 30 years oh old. Oh my make goodness. Take a guess at how many, what percentage of men fit these, this criteria. This is 200 percent Much lower. It's 0.049 percent. Cool. All right, is this oh one on the gosh. table? Maybe like almost half, like 50 ish. It's actually 14 percent. Oh, well, I'm so happy for myself. Do you think you need to <laughs> raise your standards or lower them even further? You know? I probably need to lower my standards, but I don't think I will. What percentage of the population do you think would fit your standards? Um, 20. You got 39.2%. So what do you think about that? Those are some pretty basic questions. What's missing from the test? Like what else would you uh, add on to there? Personality. What kind of personality? Not a shitty person. <laughs> okay. And what's the number one for their guy? 38% of the population. 38? Okay, that's insane. 13%. 13%. Okay, yeah. that's not bad. It's lower than what I expected. 21%. 21%? Nice. Yeah. Okay. Do you think you scored higher or lower than you expected? That seems about right. Would you be willing to change your criteria that now that you found out it's a little bit lower? Well, I guess I would. 73% of people, dude. 95%, <laughs> brother. Oh, only 30%, dude. Really? I'm, I'm wondering if that's probably about the overweight, obese thing. Probably, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, just being a decent human being, I think, is really what everyone's looking for. And, like, if you're overweight, that might imply that you're not. And that sounds fucking horrible, but it just would imply, like, maybe you can't take care of yourself. What do you think the guys have scored that we've, we've asked around here? Higher than, I guess, my initial assumption would be. I would say maybe around, like, 10%. <laughs> Or am I very wrong? Is it like 50? 46% is what the guys scored. You know, I was trying to wow. give the guys the benefit of the doubt, but I guess my assumptions are correct. Well, man, we live in a patriarchy and women get to get to choose and that's that's kind of how it works in the dating society. And women We live are, in a patriarchy and the women get to choose? They Interesting. Do. That's well, a, you know, they're vulnerable members of society. Yeah. And so they do get to be picky because, you know, you don't want to pick like the next Ted Bundy. Like it does make sense. Yeah. So who has more basically delusional dating standards, men or women? I think women, okay. because they want like 100% perfect guy. Like you want a guy who's a feminist, but also pays for all the food and stuff, so. My experience with women, they just want to like know that like you treat your sisters and your mother okay, and that like you're not gonna be a douchebag, mm -hmm. and you're not gonna fuck them and never call them again. What do you guys think about women's dating standards? Do you think women's dating standards are delusional? I mean, watching from the video, yeah, you see that a lot of men do not really care, especially when it came to the finances. I think naturally women want a man who is able to provide and protect her, even though some of the ladies were saying, I don't care about how much she makes. Yeah, okay, so I don't sound like a gold digger, but I mean, it's also very important. You know, you don't want to be with somebody that cannot provide for you. Yeah, I mean, putting a tag or, okay, like the girl that said 200k, oh my gosh. Like 200k is a lot of money, right? Can you make 200k in a year? Like, what are you talking about? But anyway, let's know your thoughts concerning this conversation. Do you think, compared to the men, women's dating standards are delusional? That men make better? I mean, men are more logical. If you ask me, I think... Just like that lady said, women's dating standards can be delusional sometimes because what we want sometimes might not be so realistic, right? We have to start working. I, I mean, it's not our fault that we think that way or we have such ideas. It's not our fault. No matter how much we know that we can be delusional, we will still think that way, right? Compared to the men, they don't really care. I mean, they don't really care. And again, I think another thing I wanted to mention was you know, when they talked about obeys, will you date someone who's obeys or someone who's fat and all of those things? Some people do not mind. Some people do not care. Generally, the women, some women said they did not really care, which I think was really nice, right? I think one very important thing is the fact that the person is healthy and the person is, um, you know, fit. I think that was important. I'm not a fan of body shaming people because of their structures or because of the way they look. I mean, if you're so tiny, people are going to still think that you're malnourished, you're not properly, 
you don't look after yourself well you're not healthy and all of those things but anyway let us know your thoughts and opinions and comment on this particular video before i go any further before i get out of your faces do not forget to like share subscribe drop a comment and turn on the post notification bell i'll see you in my next episode bye bye